This is a 100 lira bill. At today's exchange rate, this makes around $12 and there are a lot of things that you can buy with this piece of paper. But living in Istanbul is not as cheap as many people assume. So today I'm gonna find out what 100 liras can get me. And I always ask myself the question, does it really make such a big difference to buy my food at a local bazaar versus a supermarket in a shopping mall? So. Let's find out. My first target is one of the biggest and most vibrant local markets in Istanbul, the Sale Pazar, which means Tuesday market, but it actually takes place on Tuesdays as well as Fridays. Like most bazaars, it's extremely packed and has a very rushed atmosphere. But shopping here is a unique experience for itself. Buna kara? We got one kilo of tomatoes for six liras. No, it's not six. Oh, yes. <laughs> we got this kilo of yeah. carrots for 250. Ben bu lütfen. How much did you pay? I paid four liras. Sebzele nereden geliyor? Badem? Bir fan var mı orada? Fan var mı orada? Yani organik? Bu organik? Tamam. This is the best place to get a really good bargain and I could spend hours here. They even had an area where you could just sit down, relax and eat gözleme or a Turkish döner kebab. Merhaba. Merhaba. Bir tane somon alabilir miyim? Hangisi? Ama küçük. Küçük. Şu. Tamam. Şu mu? Ufak. Tamam. Abla 29. Böyle geç. 30. How we can cook it? <laughs> you buy something and don't know how to cook it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, just put it in the oven. Just put it in the oven. Alright, let's buy some funny socks. Merhaba. Bu ne kadar? Onlar 5 lira tanesi. Tane 5. Look! It's Germany! It's Germany! You want to blame you? Yok, These are cool for formal things. Wow, yeah. And it's fake. <laughs> I swear, do you know how much the original one of this? Do no. you know how much the original one of this? How much? Double ten times. Yeah. It's But did, did you see these ones? It's Germany. Wow. Merhaba. Taze kasha alabilir miyim? Taze kasha. Uh, 20 lira için. You want to buy some new Adidas? No, because it's fake. It's fake. I no, really? It. Yeah. <laughs> It's 
Original. Finally, we find something original. We have a gorish gorish. The bazaar was insane. It was huge. You could basically buy everything there from food to curtains, furniture, toys and basically everything. We got quite a lot for 100 liras, but let's actually check out this supermarket. It's also a very, very big one and I'm curious what we can get for 100 liras here. It wasn't allowed to film in the supermarket, but I tried to buy the exact same things that I bought at the bazaar. I think these are really cute. They are 9 liras. There are all kinds of supermarkets in Turkey. I went to a shopping mall that has a very big one with lots of products and fresh options when it comes to vegetables, fruits and fish. Buying all these things in the supermarket didn't take as much time as at the bazaar because I knew exactly where everything was and also I didn't have to ask for the price or wait for the change every single time. I'm done! <laughs> Spent 100 liras in the supermarket, so let's go home and check what we got. The final conclusion. Without talking too much, the bazaar definitely won. There were only a few things that were actually cheaper or the same price in the supermarket and that's the tomatoes and the cauliflower. But the prices at the bazaar do get lower when the Aksham Fiatlare gets announced. Wer Aksham Fiatlare ne zaman başlıyor? Şimdi başladı. Şimdi? Ha. So I'm pretty sure that the bazaar will always get you a better bargain than the supermarket. The advantage of shopping in a supermarket is having a greater choice of products because you can find everything from all over the world in a very small area. The supermarket. For example, I bought a sweet potato and an organic juice at the supermarket, which simply isn't available at the bazaar. On the other side, shopping on a bazaar can be quite exhausting because people are yelling. <laughs> Taser is blocking the way with her shopping cart. <laughs> and social distancing is almost impossible. <laughs> but the bazaar is the place where you can actually experience the life. <laughs> you can talk to the vendors and the farmers and you can actually ask them, hey, where is this food coming from? Where are you growing your vegetables? And it's much easier to get an understanding of what happened to the food before you actually buy it which is more anonymous in a supermarket and there you don't really have knowledge where the food is coming from. And I think this is extremely important because we all know that the inside matters, not the shiny outside. At the end of the day, the difference between supermarket and bazaar wasn't really big, but I think it's more important to be aware of where we are spending our money on instead of just looking at the cheapest option for us. There are three main problems in a supermarket. First of all, the plastic use and the environmental pollution. Second of all, farmers and small vendors get pushed away by big chains and big suppliers in a supermarket and I think this is extremely problematic and third of all food is full of chemicals you don't really know where it's coming from they add preservatives additives and all these bad things that are very very unhealthy for your body of course it's also happening at the bazaar they also have a lot of plastic they also use chemicals on their products but i think at the bazaar you still have the 
chance at least to get in touch with the people that are selling the food and know where it's coming from. And yeah, of all the supermarket is more expensive. Yes, there's the option to go to the bazaar, there is the option to buy a sweet potatoes and organic juices at the supermarket. Just make sure that you think about the options that you have. I hope you liked the video and you got a better understanding of where you can get more food for your 100 liras.